So my name is Olivia Hardy. I'm majoring in marine biology and minoring in animal behavior, and I am a junior. I'm a member of the class of 2022. Hi, I'm Sarah Peeler. Um, I am a marine science student, and I'm graduating in 2022. I got involved in the makerspace and in this project through word of mouth, actually. Um, so Sarah, she's been my roommate since freshman year, and last year she was actually talking about the possibility of designing a buoy that could remotely monitor oceanic conditions, and that really piqued my interest and sounded really interesting to me, so I asked her if I could assist her on this project. We're currently working on creating a cost-effective buoy that will remotely monitor oceanic conditions such as pH, temperature, fluorescence, and turbidity. So the data will be collected from our buoy remotely through cellular transmission, and this will be able to be done using your cell phone. One of the biggest challenges is the engineering and coding that goes into actually creating a buoy. I'm very good with the materials, you know, piecing things together to actually create a prototype. But as far as the technological aspects go, that's definitely been a challenge for me because it's something so far outside of my comfort zone that I've never really worked with before. But after coming to the makerspace and working with Jess and Cal and Mike especially, um, they helped expose me to these new technologies and made it, you know, accessible to me in a way that was simple and understandable. Justine introduced us to an electrical engineer who designs circuit boards for specific sensors and for our project specifically, he is helping us actually design a circuit board for a fluorometer that we're putting on the project. And it's been a very interesting experience having an actual professional come in instead of us trying to be that professional. We have one really big short-term goal, which is ultimately to deploy our buoy in Casco Bay on shellfish farms in order to be used by shellfish farmers to monitor their water conditions of the surrounding waters. The benefit of doing that will be that farmers can actually monitor the conditions that they're growing their shellfish in uh, to ensure that they're growing to the levels that they would like them to grow to and so that they're actually thriving. And the benefit of our project would be that farmers don't actually have to go out on a boat to collect the buoy to bring in and collect the data. They can actually just request the data from the buoy from inside their farm on shore and they can get that real-time data right there at their fingertips. It's important because I think in order to save the planet and save our oceans that we need more information and we need to understand what's actually happening. And there's vast amounts of data, but it's hard to get to that data if you have to go out two miles off a shore, five miles out of, off a shore, it would be so much simpler and so much more realistic if we had a remote monitoring system where scientists can get that data and it would save time between gathering data and actually publishing their research and getting things done.